Okay. In um, 1963, I took my first church in uh, Pittsburgh. And uh, very early in that uh, first year, th three uh, young pastors in uh, the city and myself, I was an assistant pastor in a, the big church in uh, Mount Lebanon, became very interested in civil rights and the uh, uh, events that were unfolding in uh, the South, especially uh, Mississippi. And so um, the Presbytery of Pittsburgh joined the National uh, Presbyterian Church to encourage young pastors to uh, go down and become part of a voter registration uh, project. Um, and uh, that spring, we, uh, uh, we had been working as a group, a study group together uh, on some of these issues. So that spring, uh, the four of us got in a car and uh, went to Mississippi. Uh, it took us uh, uh, two days, basically, to drive, day and night, t till we arrived in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Um, there we joined the local uh, pastors, the local uh, student workers, that were, they were called SNCC, and we started canvassing. We stayed with uh, the p people in the uh, black homes. Um, and uh, pretty soon we started uh, registering people to vote. Keep going. Keep going. This did not go over well with the, um, the locals. Uh, we also went to the uh, white churches in uh, in Hattiesburg, and uh, by that time, this had been in new, the news all over the country. They knew why we were there, and uh, um, it was not uh, appreciated. The uh, Local uh, blacks were the real heroes in this uh, project because they they uh, couldn't c come in and go, uh, and uh, they had to stay there after. But we uh, we all uh, eventually went back home, and uh, they were left uh, with uh, a very bad situation. It, it became a famous uh, uh, news item, the Hattiesburg, uh, Mississippi s summer. It was a pro um, the substance of a number of uh, movies and books. Uh, it was the same summer that uh, several uh, northern people like uh, Viola, v uh, Viola Laiozzo, like uh, th um, three young men from uh, Brooklyn and uh, joined a Mississippi uh, young man. They were all killed and uh, buried in a, uh, um, a dam. And so it, it turned into a uh, fairly dramatic uh, beginning of the the tough time of the uh, uh, middle of the summer, middle of the uh, civil rights summer. It um, <coughs> if just to orient your the dates, uh, this was in um, sixty four. In uh, uh, that later that summer was the March on Washington. Uh, 
in 1965 was the uh, Selma March, and uh, that became the peak time of the uh, civil rights uh, activity. And what happened with the march? Didn't you go on the march? Uh, the Selma March. No, that was really the t the heavy time of the uh, uh, Selma March was uh, the tough time was already over. Mm -hmm. It was in '64 that a lot of people got killed. Uh, in fact, uh, we were in jail for a week. And uh, there were 30 of us in one cell, and uh, the uh, most of the blacks in there were eventually killed, including uh, a, a gentleman that I kind of was bed bedding down next to, named Vernon Damler. He was an, uh, a, a farmer and lived in uh, Hattiesburg, and his, his, he and his whole family were killed. Mm. Their uh, house was firebombed wow. one night, and uh, the interesting thing that happened to all of those people who were killed was that they never found out who did it. They, uh, no one would... Uh, testify against them and secondly if the, even if they did they would never be uh, convicted in court so uh, the uh, Mississippi summer as it became to be known was uh, um, was a dramatic time followed by national activities, uh, um, the killing of President Kennedy, the killing of uh, Robert Kennedy, the killing of Dr. King, uh, all of those kind of things followed after that, uh, at the apex of those events in the summer. A lot of those national leaders started to to uh, go to the south, including uh, Robert Kennedy was in the south, um, various uh, attorney generals and so forth were, uh, went down there. So uh, it was the beginning of a, uh, a long, uh, period that probably ended when uh, uh, Lind Lyndon Johnson became president and he, he passed a uh, Civil Rights Act and uh, these early pioneers, you know, <clears throat> were vindicated. There were, there were many others. The little girls that were were killed in the the church in uh, Montgomery, the James Meredith was uh, himself uh, entered himself in the University of Mississippi. Um, a lot of those kind of events uh, followed suit from these these uh, months we were down there. Mm. How did you end up in jail there exactly? Well, we were uh, we what we were doing were was uh, seeking to register pe people to vote, and we were targeting the black community. And we found out very soon that uh, there were two standards. You you. Uh, if you uh, were white, you just signed uh, your name and you were registered. But if you were black, you had to pass a civics test, a history of America test. So they made, all the South had laws that made it certain that 
that black citizens couldn't vote. They, the legislature, Mississippi, passed another strong uh, law supporting the same thing, and that's when we we decided to march. And uh, as soon as we started to march, we were arrested, and that was uh, in our group. It was about thirty, uh, thirty or forty people. But they were in other little cities around Mississippi, and the same thing. They were they were put in jail. Oh, we were in jail. Uh, most of us were in for about a week. Uh, I I uh, uh, got out um, at the end of the first week because it was getting close to the time when uh, your brother Keith was about to be born. So they let me uh, come home, <laughs> and then, <laughs> then of course everything bro broke loose in Pittsburgh because mm. people were so angry. Yeah, especially our, our home church, mm. which was not uh, uh, pleased at all with that, and it ended up eventually that the three uh, assistant ministers had to leave and mm. go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. What reasoning did they give you? They gave the reason that, um, well, this was a very offensive to the, the theology and the ethics of that church, which um, was uh, conservative and did not believe that the church should be involved in... Um, <clears throat> in uh, political activities. In fact, they, uh, they asked me to pledge that I would not be uh, involved anymore in political activities, mm -hmm. and I, I w had to say I, I can't agree to that uh, mm. uh, demand. Mm. And, uh, well, I, I guess you would like to know Eventually, uh, we we the bail was paid. We all got out. It became a celebrated uh, national case, a, um, and uh, eventually, I had taken another church in Illinois, and uh, in about a year, they called us. Our, our case went up through the courts and came went to the United States Supreme Court. And they ordered a uh, an evidentiary hearing in Hattiesburg, Mississippi, about a year after. It's one of the most interesting. I because I was on the I was on the uh, stand for a whole afternoon mm -hmm. with a uh, a judge named Harold Cox, and he was had been appointed to the federal bench by. Uh, President Kennedy, mm -hmm. and uh, he he said to me, he said, uh, Vox, I uh, as I read my Bible, I I see that the uh, the Negroes are part are the cursed children of Ham. <laughs> Is that the way you read it? <laughs> and I said, Oh my God, it's. Uh, <laughs> We've got a long way to go, if that's <laughs> the highest level of judges in the United States. Mm. Eventually the appeals went up. We were uh, defended by some very good lawyers from New York, and they, uh, we won the case. Mm. Wow. And what did the police say to you while you were in jail? Did they interact with you at all? The jailers? The police? The ones who were keeping you in the jail? We didn't. Uh, they, you know, they were pretty tough, but they, um, we were out, uh, after the city jail, they put us out in a farm, um, uh, bigger place. They didn't seem to, uh, uh, 
bother us too much. They, mm. uh, there were a lot of blacks that were with us in jail. I think we were, there were just the four of us white guys and the others were all blacks. And all of their neighbors and their friends would come walking out mm. from the city with food for us and different things. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there was no, uh, no uh, violence there. We just did our own little business. We played football and we had study together and eventually we, uh, we uh, received bail from uh, our supporters back in Pittsburgh and uh, oh, yeah. they let us out. Mm -hmm. $500 bail without my pension. Was it $500 bail for you or was yeah. it more? And then I raised it was 1000 and then they reduced it to 500 mm. Yeah. Well, so mother had to come up with the, the bail. She had then. to come up with 500 <laughs> and that was interesting. It was just four men that uh, in the church. <laughs> Yeah. That just gave put up the money. Even the, the most of them had no uh, sympathy of uh, on the cause itself. Mm -hmm. They just said, "If you need help, this we'll write you a check." And then I paid uh. them all back. So, for context, uh, how much was your annual salary at that time? Uh, what was it? About four thousand a year. Uh, it was forty-four hundred. Mm. A year, but I got forty five hundred <laughs> as a teacher. So Dad went to the session and demanded another hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's very timely, isn't it? <laughs> All right. W would you like to sit down here?